Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Borderlands 3 teaser reveal. Yes, it's the trailer. They've been hyping this up. Randy Pitcher, the creator of Borderlands series, has been basically Twitter trolling everyone, mentioning things to do with the power of free. He's in free states, he's in free cities, in free days. Everyone is getting super excited about Borderlands 3 and it's here. It is happening by the looks of things. It's not going to be a third remaster for the current generation of some of the older games. It is definitely happening. What can we tell from this teaser trailer? Well, there is quite a bit. There's the brand new Vault Hunters. There appears to be four brand new Vault Hunters. It's also showing off lots of the old characters. Could it be possible that we're going to be controlling more than just the four new ones? Would we be able to revisit some of the old Vault Hunters from the series? Or are they just going to be extra characters giving us quests and missions, just how it was in Borderlands 2? There's also characters from DLC as well. We've got Tiny Tina appearing there as adult form. I am getting a little bit excited about this. I really, really feel this is the time for Borderlands 3 to make a comeback. So the trailer starts with this character. Is this going to be the bad guy or the bad girl of the series? I say this because obviously it's front and center. The bad guys have always been a huge part of the Borderlands series and it's pretty much the beginning of the trailer. She's obviously highlighting or showcasing something or she's holding something up as reverence. And of course, all of the midgets and the crazies are basically praying to her in the next section. And it slowly reveals lots of them praying. So that makes me think that's going to be the focus. She could be the main henchwoman. But then this next image makes me think the guy behind her is also a big part of it. Maybe their brother and sister. Maybe they are both the enemies that we'll be facing. Then the trailer's cut into the brand new Vault Hunters. So we've got the guy with the beard. Looks like he's got an eye patch as well. Definitely an older gentleman Vault Hunter who's maybe seen some action in the past. I also like the little image on the right or it looks like some sort of vehicle. Is it going to be a, some sort of space hopper? Or is it going to be some sort of land hovercraft vehicle? We've got some sort of Cyclops robot guy. Is he a full droid? Is he going to be half mech, half human? We're not too sure. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit confused by this next one. Is this Tiny Tina? I say this because another character appears which looks like Tiny Tina, but both of them have bunny rabbits. You can see in this one picture on her lap there does appear to be the head of a bunny rabbit. But then as we're going to cut it over in a minute, you'll also see Tiny Tina. Definitely another character, but dressed very differently. So maybe two characters. That like bunny rabbits? Is that even a thing? Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe that's not a bunny rabbit. I don't know. Is it? Let me know in the comment section. So maybe a bit further into the future where she is all grown up and is an active vault hunter. Finally, the soldier revealed by the looks of things. I say soldier because she does seem to have the helmet on the right hand side there. So all four of these characters are on this sand dune buggy or truck. Be interesting to see what type of classes they will be or if we'll be able to mix and match a little bit more than we have in the previous games. With a classic selection of some of the older characters with Tyna Tina being there on the right hand side. So what is happening? Is they both the same character? Is it just dressed differently or are they two different characters and they just do happen to have both bunny rabbits? I'm not sure. And then back to these guys basically all getting ready. There seems to be lots of components. Maybe the focus is going to be upgrading your guns rather than just simply getting lots of new ones this time. Maybe swapping bots out, maybe getting mods for your guns, silencers, attachments. That sounds like a pretty good idea to maybe open up and expand on the loot genre. Obviously, it's a teaser trailer. We're going to get the full reveal tomorrow. That's what's happening at PAX. It's the start of PAX East. That's when we're revealing exactly what's going to go on. I'm sure we'll get a full trailer and release date for Borderlands 3. Uh, it does look like a lot of the action is going to be centered around the vehicles again as well. Lots of them are riding vehicles. Uh, at the very end shot, you can see characters riding bike vehicles. Of course, Claptrap is featured prominently as well. You can see him in a few of the shots. Uh, again, looks like he's working for the bad guys. Maybe he's their henchman now. And there are older characters as well, like Mordecai, etc., all appearing again. So, yeah, it'd be really good to jump into this. It is making me want to see if I can maybe get back into Borderlands 2 and see if I can complete it in time for whenever this is going to happen. Is this going to be coming this winter? That's the rumours. That was what was leaked by Amazon saying that it could possibly be coming this fall. It wouldn't surprise me if they're giving it a bit more of a shorter run up this time rather than saying it's coming next year. But who knows? Are you hyped for Borderlands? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if I've got anything wrong, right. And I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Until next time, don't forget to like. And I'll see you, ratbags, later.